Hi everyone, Mike from Comp3 Interactive here. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Now in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to create a simple editor script that will automatically save your project whenever you enter play mode. Now I don't know about you, but I'm guilty myself of not pressing Ctrl S enough. And then that leads to me playing the game, something goes wrong, and Unity falls in a heap and crashes, and then all of my progress has been deleted. So this is just a quick and easy way to prevent that. And what's good about this script is it doesn't need to be attached to a game object, it just has to be inside your project. So let's get started. So what we're going to want to start by doing is we'll create a new folder called Editor. Now, Editor is a reserved folder name for Unity, and what's unique about the Editor folder is when we compile our game, none of the assets inside the Editor folder will be part of the compiled finished product. So with that, anything that is strictly Editor-based, like we're going for here, should only be placed inside your Editor, script, uh, editor folder. So inside our Editor folder, we'll go ahead and create a new C-sharp script. And we'll call this Auto Save. Open this in Visual Studio. And in our class, we don't need the update, we don't need the start, and we don't need to be inheriting from Mono Behavior because we're not attaching it to a game object. What we do want to do though is we want to add a couple more namespaces. Namely, using Unity Editor dot scene management and also using Unity Editor. And we also want to add the attribute to our class, initialize on load. So what that's going to do is that's going to tell Unity to initialize this class whenever we load the editor. So what do we need in this class? Well, first of all, we're going to need a static constructor. So we'll call this sta static auto save. Remember your constructor has to be an identical name to your class name. And then we're going to go ahead and create our actual auto save method. This will be a private static void and we'll just call this save on play. Now save on play is going to need to take in a single parameter and that's going to be a Play mode state change, and we'll call that state. So what a play mode state change is, is an event that's triggered by Unity whenever we enter or exit states, such as exiting edit mode, entering play mode, they're one and the same thing, that was the wrong way around. Either way, you get the idea. So what we're going to do, we're going to check if state is equal to play mode dot state change dot exiting edit mode. So whenever we press the play button we'll effectively exit edit mode so whatever is within this if statement will be triggered whenever we press the play button. So what we need to do we need uh, editor scene manager dot save open scenes. That'll save the scene that we're currently working on and just for good measure we'll call Asset database dot save assets, and just so we know this function is actually happening, we'll put out a friendly debug dot log just to say we are auto saving. So where do we actually get round to calling save on play whenever there's a state change? Well, in our constructor, when we initialize the class, what we can do, we can make use of the editor application dot play mode state changed and this is the event that fires whenever we enter or exit play mode and we can subscribe that to our save on play method using the plus equals and save on play and that should be good to go so if we jump back over into unity we see we've not attached our script to a game object. We'll create 
a few cubes just so we have something different in our scene and as you can see up here we have an asterisk next to our screen name our scene name what that denotes is we have unsaved changes within our scene so we aren't going to press Control s we aren't going to save in the traditional sense we'll press play you'll see that we have auto saving down here in our console and the asterisk has disappeared meaning the project has now been saved automatically. No more lost data when Unity decides to crash. If you've learned something today, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.